I'm here with Vladimir Potkin, who is a long time uh, second coach of Jan Nepomneshi. Uh, Vladimir, could you tell us when did your association with Jan begin? Well, actually, it's already a long time, like you mentioned. Uh, so we started to collaborate with Jan in 2007, and uh, first tournament was Arafat Open, where I assisted Jan and uh, Jan uh, won this event, and uh, later he entered this Dortmund Super Tournament along with Vladimir Kramnik, and uh, our liberation continues to, uh, for now, so it's already like 15 years, uh, almost. Yeah, it's almost 15 years, and from a talented youngster, or you can say, who was growing up the ranks, he's reached now the World Championship Challenger, so it must be a very proud feeling for you. Oh, of course, I'm very proud of Jan, and uh, I'm mostly proud that uh, every day and uh, every, let's say, week and month he is finding motivation to become stronger. So last year he improved a lot, and uh, I'm really inspired that he wants to be stronger like a chess player. And uh, uh, of course, uh, the results is more important, but uh, even more important uh, to develop your own abilities, and uh, he is uh, looking for it. I have always believed that when you are trying to get better at chess, there are moments when you face failure, when you lose and at that point trainer is very important because he picks you up, he, he takes you on the right track. Uh, has there, have there been occasions when you know uh, Yan has been down and you have been able to motivate him to, to continue his chess journey? No, of course, it's like uh, life, it's not full of rainbows, yeah. Uh, so sometimes we win, but sometimes there were uh, many losses and uh, sometimes even very painful losses. Uh, uh, some tournaments, uh, for example, Zagreb, when uh, was sleeping, then he lost in the uh, finish. And, uh, but also it was a big challenge, so I think Jan overcome big difficulties once, uh, for example, he uh, was uh, forced to win the last leg of the Grand Prix in Jerusalem, and uh, he was fighting like from first half already with Boris Gifford, and uh, it was a very tough match, so uh, and Jan just won it uh, uh, on the tie breaks, and uh, Boris is a great player, uh, but then Jan became stronger and stronger with each round, and uh, he deserves to, to, to make this win, and I think uh, during this event he became uh, a lot of stronger, uh, because he faced the difficulties and he overcame it, and uh, it's very important uh, in your career. Uh, not uh, because uh, when it's good and uh, everything is comfortable, everyone can play well, but when it's hard and you should overcome the difficulties, uh, so I think it's uh, the character of the strongest players in the world. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's really, I also read that Jan had a phase in between when he was attracted to video games, when he was uh, into gaming. And then he came into chess again, like he was playing chess, but then he started working very seriously and he's reached all the way till here, which is really inspiring uh, because he's now almost, uh, you know, he, he could be a world champion in another few uh, couple of weeks. Uh, what do you have to say about the victory in candidates? Even that was a very tough event, right? And, yeah. and you were there uh, at yeah. that point with him. Yeah, yeah, I was uh, with Jan, and of course it's uh, somehow historical event. Uh, before the first, like, uh, we had like uh, only two months for preparation because we qualified at the last moment, uh, just before the new year, yeah, in this uh, last uh, lack of Grand Prix. And uh, we did as much as we could. Uh, of course, the first part was uh, extremely difficult. Uh, Jan was leading, but he was to... Maxim, who was actually very inspired, I think, as if he was included in the very last moment and he showed um, very aggressive and uh, very good chess. Uh, but then, uh, under the circumstances, it was stopped and uh, we were like, uh, main task was uh, not only um, to be prepared well before the second leg, but also to be like in tonus to play tournaments and then to combine it with trainings and uh, once uh, Hida will claim that uh, it will be like prolonged, uh, we should be like already uh, <laughs> to, to, to pack our luggage and go to for final training yeah, because uh, no one knew when to continue. So I think uh, luckily for us it continues in Ekaterinburg, so also a uh, good city for us. And, uh, 
but the second part was was completely different. So already we had like position of uh, leading uh, along with Maxim and uh, Jan was playing more professionally. I mean, professionally that he understood the draw is okay. So just uh, uh, the main task is uh, to proceed during event and uh, to get uh, uh, the match chances uh, as to be given. Uh, do you think that the candidates being broken into two parts helped Ian in his uh, uh, victory of the tournament? Because many people said that if it's one long tournament, sometimes there can be ups and downs in because he's quite unpredictable. So having a break in between for a year, did that work in his favor? Uh, well, uh, no, we took as it happened, uh, so I believe it helped us uh, to, to prepare uh, better for the second part. and. Uh, to make uh, some decisions also and because Jan I think also uh, during the strengths he is like rising and uh, becoming stronger and stronger so he got uh, more time for this uh, uh, so no one knows what will be if the storm will continue but uh, we are ready to fight and uh, even before the last game we prepared here to Anish uh, with white uh, and only in the morning during preparation we knew out that uh, it's already uh, cancelled and uh, we should uh, go go home and then see what happens. But at that moment we actually thought more about also health because it was unexpected, all the situation yeah. because of the virus and we just uh, came back to our families and uh, trying to be safe and uh, just uh, behave according to the situation. And uh, when the candidates ended and he had won, uh, there was one question here asked at the World Championship that, Jan, you, uh, you know, it's something that is a dream since childhood for you to play the World Championship match. And Jan said, it was dream until I won the candidates. After that, I started to work, you know, uh, because... So, how, how was the feeling when he had won the candidates? Was it like... Uh, feeling of elation or was it like no now we have to get down to work because we have to beat Magnus um, well uh, so actually I think uh, uh, feelings uh, changed a bit because it was uh, like in two parts this candidate story because before the event we just uh, started like everyone fighting for the as much as we can uh, but then we already like expected that we are just uh, in a good position fighting uh, very strongly for the first place and one is uh, ended uh, and successfully uh, it was kind of natural already uh, the feeling that we are ready to play World Championship match and uh, uh, I think we celebrated a bit but uh, then after a week or so we started already thinking what we are going to do in the next uh, half a year because uh, time actually running very fast and uh, uh, as you mentioned this match is uh, like a dream of everyone to play and uh, you should be ready at your best. And, and when you face Magnus, he's like four-time world champion. You already, you know, he's been ruling the chess world since eight years. But I think one thing that works in Jan's favor is that he's seen Magnus since he was a young kid. Like they played when they were 12 years old. So uh, do you think that uh, Jan does not feel afraid of Magnus? He's just like uh, someone whom he knows since many years. Well, certainly Jan is not afraid of Magnus, first of all, uh, and secondly, of course, this marriage is something special because uh, uh, Jan and Magnus, they race uh, together in the same events uh, in childhood, uh, then uh, Magnus' progress was very huge and very fast and he uh, became uh, number one uh, uh, very fast and uh, Jan was like playing the top events, but he uh, was overcoming his uh, difficulties and to become stronger and stronger and I believe now Jan reached uh, like his top level of uh, development like uh, chess part and humanly and uh, uh, so he's now ready for this fight and of course he's excited just to play with Magnus because uh, uh, Magnus is uh, deserved champion and it's a great level to play with him and Jan is a player first of all. You said that he's reached the top stage of his chess as well as human development what does that mean like even in terms of fitness or uh, his mental setup, uh, all of that? Oh, well, I think Jan, uh, as far as I know him uh, for a long time, he was always excited to play his best players of the world, so it's always a great challenge for him. So once he's challenged, uh, he can uh, show his best and uh, uh, this uh, 
that first uh, uh, cannabis tournament was a big challenge for him and now the match and uh, that's why he's uh, rising and looking uh, uh, where he can be better uh, and uh, of course uh, I'm also like inspired uh, to see Jan uh, next days uh, uh, who can become because of course uh, match is also like big learning part so you're also learning from the games uh, is Magnus. And uh, what is uh, your role? You are you the head trainer of the of the of Jan's camp or uh, what is your role? Like we know that Peter Heine Nielsen <laughs> is the head trainer of Magnus's camp. Is that the same for you or well, I actually don't know what exactly Peter Hein is doing, but I uh, suppose he is responsible for many things. Uh, so, also, like, I'm helping Jan in a lot of stuff and I know him very well. Uh, so, I used to this job and I'm happy to be here together with Jan. And you, you spend a lot of time uh, here, uh, like, at the start of the game, you are here, even when the game ends, you are here with Jan. So, uh, it's, it's also a lot about psychology logical boost right well uh, I'm used to be with Jan uh, together and I think it's also important uh, for Jan to get this sort of support uh, once the games are started and once the games are finished so it's actually uh, also the part of the match and, uh, but of course it's a uh, yeah, big team and uh, big contribution of everyone here uh, Preparation of Jan. Which we will get to know after the match, so we will <laughs> ask you about it after it. Uh, how are happy are you with Jan's play in the first four games? Yeah. Are you are you pleased with it? Uh, no, I think Jan, uh, first of all, he get used to match, to match atmosphere. Uh, he is confident. Uh, he is uh, playing good chess and uh, uh, no, I see that it's like uh, some weak uh, fight, so more or less equal chess. Uh, so Jan and Magnus, and uh, I'm really inspired that Jan is doing a uh, uh, good job. And uh, but of course we're like uh, only in the beginning of the match, so many things will come later. It's actually very close, right? Because it all depends on one move, one game. Anything can change. Anything can happen. Yeah, any moment can change everything, so we are like uh, sleeping with open eyes. <laughs> That's why we are ready for everything we are in the World Championship match. I have heard that whoever works as the second and as the trainer have a very tough time, they cannot sleep much. Does that also happen with you? Uh, well, that's for sure. We had uh, a lot of things to do and uh, we are managing to have some sleep, but also to help Jan as much as we can. So it's a uh, big contribution of the team, for sure. And lastly, uh, what is your, about your chess career? Are you going to come back to playing chess at some point or will you now continue as Jan's trainer in future as well? Uh, no, well, yeah, of course I'm enjoying playing chess myself as, uh, as much as I can. But once Jan started to show uh, such a big results and uh, I was involved highly in his preparation during this uh, qualification and candidates and much, so I simply have uh, no choice uh, to play or to coach because it's uh, very important for Jan uh, to be with him and uh, uh, once uh, you, the match uh, will be finished, maybe I will play some chess and uh, some blitz or right at the end because of course uh, every chess player enjoys the game, but now I'm focused on coach yeah. everything. Well, thank you so much Vladimir for your time and uh, for this interview. Okay, thank you.